Use me old trading connections to bring uh, in whatever him and his little band need, and they pay what I ask. To sweeten the deal. Given me more. He's given me a home here, far from the prying eyes of those who wish me ill. There's no shortage of them, believe you me. If you're going to buy some, it'd be quick about it. Eh? I'll be thankful you got that much. You got out else? I'm selling it. I'm selling it. Oh, I was like, why are you? Oh, I thought you were buying stuff. I was really. I'll be thankful no, you got that much. Oh, it's under sell. Yeah. yeah. You probably just had a whole bunch of like old equipment in your inventory. Like, no, like not just equipment, my pillow box. I wanted to find out the uh, same. I'd be like, whoops. Bring it. I reckon I can find a buyer. You got out else? Oh, oh, that's what I'm looking at. He's selling. She sells all the old shit, essentially. She also sells some good stuff. Goldwork Sash. Brooks Gambit reduces the cooldown by 2.7 seconds. 11,000. Yikes. Oh, I'm, I'm good. This is better than the upgraded Dark Sash already. All right. You're rubbing me blind, you know. I'm be thankful you got that much. Thanks. So, what'd it be? Anything else? What's this? Thirds is? Greedy pig. You, you, <laughs> newcomer. Why don't you join me for a drink? Hmm? I'd been cast out and left for dead when Sid found me. There's not a day goes by I don't count my blessings. The sound of silence. That's funny. But there's just no music. It's all, I also like that it's given to you relatively early and just by completing main story quests. So it's not like you have to struggle to find this thing that's like, shut up. Eat your food while it's hot and see that none goes to waste. Follow those two simple rules and you will always be welcome at the Fat Chocobo. Look at the mogul! Pie! He's doing what? Hey, he's eating pie! Are you eating that pie? <laughs> I'm her mogul, I would. Yeah, dude. I'd be all like, mmm, pie, let's go. <laughs> I like pie. <laughs> you young and so delicious. And how might this old soul be of service? What's up, hypocrites? I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. I have quite the find for you today. Dating system, okay. Oh, entities that can be conjured by dominance are called Aegis. 
Aegis are capable of casting potent magics corresponding to the elemental alignment of their creators. Though unquestionably formidable, they will fade immediately should the dominant who gave them being happen to be slain. What subject shall we consider today? If it, that's me! <laughs> Garuda! Rama? So interesting, we saw Odin and Bahamut. That's cool. Because those are two significant characters. Man, I thought I read these. I guess because there's new information for them. Yeah, yeah he's a good guy. Beyond Lesage. Lesage. Karen! I like her, she's nice. Boots. It's this one. Eh. This. There we go. Quentin. Attendant to the Margrace. Oh, he did. also nice so that people with uh, in the YouTube video can pause if they want to read these. Hey, what's up, Rainier? How are you? Yikes, dude. How's the game? Amazing. Insanely good. Semi-priming. So that's what she did when I fought her the first time, is she was semi-primed. Whoops. Garada. Bahamut. Nice. <laughs> Just generic orcs. Empire Thorns. I thought I'd already read those. And it's been a while since Vampire Thorns are new. Wolves. My... Okay, so we're Did all you read learn through everything here. you needed? <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to Sid. Hey, girl! <laughs> Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, oh, still have a bit of fight left in you. Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up a scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Okay, so I'm still chasing the dominant, but it's not... Now I know it 
is and isn't me. Very interesting. Yeah, I don't want to know anything, but... Alright, to King's Hall. Alright, thanks. Get that off my map so it's not telling me there's something new there. Oh yeah, all these places are like disabled. I can't go there right now. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you have to do the story mission right now, please. This is very important. Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Bro, lift your head up. Don't be a whiny little bitch. Hey, go and just kill your brother. I don't want to hear anything. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Don't. Please, think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. Yeah, don't tell you me story information. Gav. But we both know that... No buts about it. Yeah. Yeah, I realize I was about to tell you really important information, but because I heard this one thing, I'm going to go ahead and leave right now and stop everything. Like, you couldn't take two minutes just to spit it out and then leave. Get it, boy. Yeah, play with your dog. Feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, Torgal. Now I'm happy again. Yay! <laughs> this is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Galv on a wild goose chase. I like how I'm like, yay, yay! And then he's like, this is stupid. Well, and I'm like, okay. Crabs! Spiders! Or heads. Oh, no, Hello, spiders! I would like to touch you. More killing. And for what? That's enough! Too slow! Stay down! Get him, Torvald! Not this time. It's over. Stay down.
sorry. <laughs> Yay, puppy pets. I pet that dog. What's up? Look at that happy trail, man. <laughs> experience no, <laughs> minotaur main and bloody hide that's when you tell somebody they better get you're really mad at somebody and they need to hide really fast bloody hide yeah. Yeah. nailed it <laughs> it's time to bloody hide isn't it Stop, I'm already dead. Another... What are you saying? Perfect little shortcut, Sid. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. No, don't say no. You know you liked it. Shut up. Delete. Oh, no, I accidentally deleted my game. I have to play it all the way through again. <laughs> oh, no. Red. <laughs> Le Sage. Yeah, don't give me a map.
Two talent. Can you help a brother out? Spoons. <laughs> I said that in my head. <laughs> Thanks, man. swimming bro get off the bridge what is it boy after him don't let him escape Gaff. who goes there this one's a deserter Take his head! Out of my way. Oh, the awesome shop, you yeah. Made your choice. situation. 
You're late. Count in trouble. What? The Imperials are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? Yes. <laughs> Don't take my XP. I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. <laughs> His son was dying, so I figured I'd... <laughs> Clive! He 
Give me your hand! Help me! Help me! Help me climb! I've got you. That upper body strength, though, Jesus. You soiled yourself. This is a pretty game. Oh, what is up, Devoid? This I'm game Commander Shepard, and is Awesome Mad awesome. G is my favorite streamer on Twitch. Thanks for the resub. Yeah, this game is yeah. badass. Clive doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. <laughs> well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive. I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? There was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. <laughs> Sit. I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. <laughs> oh god. Thank you, Gav. Yeah, there you are. What's up, Orion? Kill yourself if you didn't. No it's birds like... returning this year. Deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. He must be stopped. Well, the game has only ever showed me a single person with blonde hair the entire time. <laughs> so, it must be that now they've decided to introduce a second character with blonde hair. Only it's the only explanation. The biggest twist yet? Yeah. Oh, what? No way! It was Joshua! That is true. That is the biggest twist. It's when I do the it's when I do the E on the on the uh, the Phoenix ability and he goes <laughs> Oh my god. Just like that and it's it's awesome. 
I'm the one who did the sound effects for the game. Yeah. I know it's impressive. Let's go back and see if Jill has finally woken up after like two weeks. Spitting great gouts of fire, he was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you Clive. on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Hold it. <laughs> right. Can I make the sound again? Probably not. <laughs> Go to her, you fool. I, I could certainly try, but it won't be the same. What you all? Oh. Right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Activate this and immediately turn it back off again. Hey, look at that, I did it. The Moogle! <laughs> they even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. <laughs> Touch his tummy. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And that they never reveal themselves to humans. Nectar the bold. Nectar, you say? Clive. <laughs> so it would seem. I've been banging my that palm against... Painful. Hey, wait, he talks real fast. I'm gonna imagine he said, I've been banging my pom pom against people's butts and they haven't done anything. No. So he's like, Yeah, yeah! Headbutt. That's what he thinks headbutt is. It's just him whapping his pom pom on people's butts. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Our little secret. Yay! It's Sid's fault. He tied it too tight. There's nothing wrong with it. Stop moaning. I'm like, even, like whining to you when I have like a baby cow. You put my you put my band-aid on too tight. I can feel I can feel my pulse through my band-aid. Like, stop. like you're fine. It's not cutting off your circulation. But you don't know, it could be. Let's get this fixed before someone does themselves a mischief. Whee! Mischief! He was not amused. <laughs> Just stabs her. That's true then. It really is you. It is. <gasps> Clive! You're alive. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Taya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Finksgate. Rosaria had lost her leaders, 
The duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Ironhome. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Ironblood had captured a Dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Hmm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield or... see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us Dominants. What? <sighs> what happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night, The hooded man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. I was going to say he has to poop. a change of clothes, then. <laughs> Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. <laughs> uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. Jill, I... I should be ready, too. I have to poop. We have a long journey ahead of us. Oh. It's an emergency! I thought I told you to make yourself scarce. Your friend needs to get dressed. I'll come down as soon as I've got changed, Clive. Well, I guess I could go. He's not in there. Get out of here. Just sweeping shit onto my boots. <laughs> Do what? What? Oh, sorry. Didn't see that guy there. With his torch held high, pursues his subtle prey. But 
Peter Wins put out his light before the break of day. Hey. Kenneth is so And his dishes taste. Ah, Clive. I trust you're settling in? Gradually yeah. getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? I'd be happy to help. Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. Okay. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. Well, stuck something! I just don't have enough teams to follow every lead. Alright, one by the entrance. Manning the chocobos! Womaning the chocobos! Ooh, something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running after the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> they must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. What was your name? Chocobo Keeper. What a unique name. Sid's gone off again to Rosaria this time to pick up some supplies. Never can get him to sit still. Oh, well. I'm sure I'll be calling on your help again, if you've a mind to lend it. A carpenter's work he's never done around here. Well? So what will it be? Gaia's Blade. I tell you what, let's immediately replace Storm Cry that I just got. No scratches, all right? Anything else? You can have your weapons for one mission and then they're all gone. Back so soon? Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Can it, Sammy? He thought you might be hungry. He wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? Bro, this sword's got some girth. The sword is thick. Chicken. Oh, what I wouldn't give for some wild Mickey berries. You should speak to Master Barmill. Can I help you? 
can it send me? Ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves, which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. Thank you. I think that's everyone. I'm a bit like Kenneth now. I hate Kenneth, I delivered the food. What do you do with a proper place to train? We're looking at half a dozen, maybe more. Their bunks are made up. Isn't the Moogle funny? Does that mean I'm like Uber Eats in this place? <laughs> ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Here, your reward, as promised. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. You! Newcomer! I need help. What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you. Will you go and check? I have to know. All right, I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwig. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps. But the soil there is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be too late. Gotland's Bales. Okay. Bales. Oh, okay, cool. Look how thick my sword is. I know you like a thick sword. What? At least it's not my time. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Someone's in trouble.
This move. What you with y'all? Would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Right. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. Rich is a descriptor of flavor. I'm not going to be tasting the dirt. Soil, then. There's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? I mean, I could, sure. Not gonna. your money now <laughs> nobody listens to me cappy Sorry. what Not a yummy nut in sight, Kupo. You want that yummy nut, huh? There you are. And all safe and sound. Oh. Yes, yeah, she's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. 
Did you bring it? Uh, yes. Here. Glorious! When Martel came home empty-handed, I almost had a fit. But with this, with this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... That's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Although, you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. I wish I could offer you some fruit too, but you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. Apple trees don't work that way. Apple trees don't work that way. <laughs> I sense a lie. That's apple trees. Now, I go. Hey, girl. What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. I can upgrade it. Oh, no, no, no. I'm buying a shitty one. Hmm. Off you go, then. I'm best of luck. I should probably say thank you to Gav, too. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? 